saw that chick, I'ma lock my mind. Tell my mom we gon' be. Saw that chick, I'ma lock my mind. Tell my mom we gon' be. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Arp here, and today's tutorial, I will show you guys how to edit the likes of you in DaVinci Resolve absolutely for free. I will show you guys how to do Soviet color corrections, build up, skin glow, and impact. So, hopefully, you guys learned something new in this video. But other than that, drop a like, drop a sub, and please use code YOARP in the Fortnite shop. But other than that, let's get right into DaVinci Resolve. So, basically, now in DaVinci Resolve, now basically. Basically, let's get started. Basically, the first thing I want to do is to drag in your clip and sync it up with the music and turn map it. Basically, that basic stuff. If you don't know how to turn map a clip or want exact turn mapping I use in this tutorial, then I will link a major tutorial on that in the description or up in the cards. But when you've done that, we can start to like main effect basically the first thing i want to do is to just go to your shot of impact that's the first room you see the damage numbers pair so for me it's right there as you see guys basically press the clip right there and press ctrl b that will basically split your clip right there then basically from here you want to go 40 frames to the left there are basically two ways of doing it you can either just do the long way by just going 40 frames to the left with your arrow keys or you can do a much faster way that i'm gonna show you guys right now Basically, you can just press on the left part of your clip and then pressing Ctrl D and then change the format to frames and change the duration to minus 40, then press change. Then this left part should become exactly 40 frames shorter and then basically you can go to where the clip ends now and then press M in keyboard to put on the mark right there so note that that's the 40th frame. Then you can drag out the clip again to the shot of impact. And then go back to the mark we just put it down pressing the clip and press ctrl b that's maybe a bit complicated but it's pretty easy and you basically should have cut out kind of a small part in your main clip basically what you want to do with that is just hold alt and then drag it two layers up like this so we basically slip the layer it's nothing special it just creates a copy of that clip above but then basically what you want to do to this copy clip is you want to right click on it and press new compound clip and then press create and then basically what we'll do to this compound clip is we will actually cut out your character it's pretty easy i will show you guys now how to do it if you don't know how to do that there will be timestamps in the description so you can just jump over this step but basically now how to mask your character is basically just Hover over this common group we just created and go to the cut tab. Then instead of here, go to the circle with four dots up pair and then press on this like pencil thingy. Then you want to go to the fast frame by dragging this red kind of line all the way to the left. And then you want to keyframe the character one. And then basically you can just zoom in and kind of just click around your shark to pretty easy. You just go around and click it out. I'll basically see you guys when I'm done with the fast frame. Like this, I then just connect them. And now I'm done with the first frame and basically what you want to do now is you want to go frame by frame to the right with your arrow keys and basically just correct the dots so they are fairly good around your shark there. You don't have to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframed automatically when you change something so you basically just have to go with your arrow keys to the right and just correct the dots and I'll basically see you guys when I'm done of that okay so now i'm basically done masking all the frames and basically when you've done that you can go up to notes up here if you don't see them just press on notes up here right click anywhere and press add off output and then you can just uh, kind of connect it like this it should get transparent but you won't see that right now uh, then basically you can go back to edit tab right click on the compact clip again and press new compact clip and press create like this basically what we can do now is we can actually start doing the fun part of the fx the color correction of that crazy stuff but basically we're gonna start off by doing the color correction below how to do it is uh, just go to fx and drag in an adjustment clip and make it so it is under the masked compound clip that we just masked and make the adjustment clip exactly as long as the masked compound clip so like this and so it is one layer below obviously and basically what you will do now to this adjustment clip is you will right click on it and press open in fusion page then basically in the description you should find the draft folder and in that called draft folder you should find two different pieces one called just Silvio VHS RP and one called V2 Silvio VHS RP you should have seen the two variants on screen in the beginning but me personally I like the second the most so you can just drag that in and just connect 
update. What it is actually, guys, I think I actually did a pretty good recreation of uh, Soviet color correction. Comment down below what you think, but basically, it's just some steps left to do. Just click right print comment and press the indication color boot. And then, one thing more is if you have your cross over it, you should see two rectangle things in the corners. Take the one to the left and drag a bit to the right, like this. You might have to play around with that yourself, but hopefully, you guys know to, how that works because it's kind of just fading. Uh, but now we're gonna actually start doing the kind of skin glow. How to do the skin glow is again just right click on the mask compact clip and press open infusion page. Then in the same wood ruffle as before, you should find a preset called skin glow RP. I basically just drag that in. It's pretty cool. I think I actually did a pretty good recreation of this of the Soviet 2. It's the same thing you have to do with the mask the, like skin. In the corners, you should see two like rectangle thingies. Take the one to the left and direct a bit to the right like this again. But now it's basically just kind of the easiest, or not really the easiest, but the impact part. Basically how to do the impact is you just go to the effects and drag an adjustment clip and make it so it starts on the shot of impact. So the first frame you see the damage numbers and make sure you don't make the adjustment clip short there because that will mess up the preset you can use. So basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it starts on the shot of impact. Uh, then basically just over the adjustment clip and go to fusion tab. In the single draft of the so all the times, you should find a preset called Impact RP. Basically, just drag that in and uh, basically just connect. It's pretty easy. But this is a, isn't actually the main like kind of Soviet style impact. I actually, have to do one more thing to get that kind of impact. But by the way, you can make the just shot from the end now if you want. But basically, uh, now we'll add kind of the Soviet kind of party burst. I don't know what it is, but basically just. It's overly, it will be in the same good draft as the, all the other times. But you just done that and drag it in and drag it right above the impact adjustment clip. So like this, and again, make it a start in the shot of impact. Then basically you just want to hover it and go to the fusion tab and make it transparent, but just press control space and switch to delta here. Then you want to make the reference to black, this and it should get transparent. Then basically you can go back to edit tab and basically now one thing left to do because you might think that it's way too bright right now like kind of this burst but, but basically how to fix that I usually just go to in inspect and go to compass side mode and in here drag down the pass to maybe like 65% and that kind of just takes away that kind of blending uh, brightness uh, but that's basically it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed please consider doing drop a like and a sub and don't forget that note bell so you don't miss the future uploads but other than that see you guys in the next tutorial bye